is my tape? I'm recording now. Fuck. And I'm getting it, or I'm letting it, Fuck. um... Tape. Just letting it, mic. uh, unfreeze. I've got a nice new chair. Oh, nice. I lean the back of one, which is why you hear this. I don't know if you can hear it or not. <laughs> no, don't get the wrong context ideas. <laughs> oh, alright. Mm. <laughs> oh god! No, 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 no. Okay, no. it should be unfrozen now. So we are live are we, in are you three, are we two, recording? yeah, we're one. recording. Yep, we're recording. All right. Well. Welcome to your the uh, second episode of For Real. This is your host, Coda Graymain. I'm Kathra. Like, for Real. What? And I'm Thunder. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> Thunder's here. Uh, Reverb's oh gone. <laughs> yeah, Reverb, Reverb isn't here this time. But yeah. if just in case you didn't hear everyone, that's Thunder, Kathra, and, and Max. Um, Thunder wasn't here last episode. He's here now. Yep. And I, uh, yeah, yeah, I have to um, tell the story. Basically, yeah, since you weren't since you weren't here last time, like what we did was just everybody said basically um, you know, who they were and how they got into the fandom. And I died at the ending point of this podcast, so yeah, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this time it won't be as long. All right, so yeah, Thunder, right. Uh, right. take it away. So what was the question again? Um, the question was, um, like, or you just saying like how you got into, the, or who you are and how you got into the fandom, like introducing yourself, because oh, you know, this will yeah, be the first time that people see you on, on the podcast. All right, so um, I'm Thunder. I originally got into this fandom through Vine. Uh, the way I saw it is... Uh, Funny enough, it was I was just scrolling through Vine, going through the popular now, and there was like Cosmic Wuffies thing on like the cool kids. I'm sure a lot of people know or remember what that was. Yeah. I looked into it from there, went to uh, YouTube, started looking everything up. I was like, whoa, this is kind of interesting. Uh, my first character's name was Bolt. He kind he was a wolf. He kind of looked like Thunder, but. Uh, I'm kind of moved on from that just because of uh, I didn't quite like how perfected he or he wasn't quite perfect. So I uh, moved on to what a species I call it. We call it a puppy dragon just because its face kind of looks like a dog, but it has the ears and the uh, markings and stuff of an angel dragon. And the nose, I assume. Yeah, it's just it's a shorter snout than an angel dragon. Right. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty. I'm the youngest person on this podcast. I think. Are you? No, I am. All right. How old? Are, how old are you? Oh. Fifteen. Oh, so I'm middle aged, sixteen. Oh, well, yeah. then I'm One second oldest. Me. Thank the Lord. Wait, wait. How old are you, Max? Eighteen. Oh, haha. Ha. Ha, I'm the oldest. Mwahaha. Wow, You're the, the alpha. First. Well, what about yeah. Reverb? Uh, Reverb is just a prop because he's a dog. <laughs> I just is... broke two pencils. How? I, I feel like a pain. Do you want a medal? No, um, like, I don't uh, even know how. Like, they just fall apart on my hand. Well, stop grabbing them so hard. I didn't. I mean, and. <laughs> No, <laughs> don't take it there, please don't. I've had one of those moments where like the lead keeps breaking and then like hey. I have to sharpen it and then it breaks again. Like, mm-hmm. If only this could be a normal podcast. Yeah, no. Well, it is totally for real, you know. Mm. Ha! 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 <laughs> 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 That's not how I laugh. Maybe it is. My God. <laughs> Are you just one of those people that just like touches something and it breaks? Yeah, like I literally picked up the pencil and put more lead in it, and then it just fall- it like fell apart. <laughs> like that know. one SpongeBob character. Anyone remember that? Doodle Bob. No. Nyoi. No, 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 not that one. The other one. I forgot his name. 
Mm. The cousin, something like oh, that. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I get, uh, yeah. That one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The hash slinging slasher. Oh. Well, I know somebody that slings hash, but it ain't the hash that, uh... Oh, my. <laughs> Why you gotta know? <laughs> all the hash. Mm. Okay. Should we start with all of our shit? Um, I... Well, actually, is that it? It, for the introduction, Defender. something really, really quick... If you are going to MFF, then come by on Saturday at the Lambert Room. Or, Saturday, not Sunday. Saturday, from 5 to 6 p.m., we are having a Vine Furs slash Video Furs meet. Since Vine is dying, it's open to anybody that likes to make videos because we're going to be making short skits. I'm going to have my DSLR with me set up on a tripod so that we can do... Um, like video and I can like post it to YouTube. So it'll be a fun time. Drop by and um sniper's gonna help me um uh host the panel and I know Hanzo's for sure gonna be there. There's a couple other people I think in in the Vine meet that that'll someone edit me a uh, video by. like I'm just there, like on a really badly cropped green oh, screen. Oh yeah. I'll get I'll get yeah. Kiro I'll get Kiro to do that because Kiro's good at that stuff. Like, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> I'm here. I wanna be cool. <laughs> I'm totally here right now. I you even... sounded like salad fingers just then. <laughs> oh, God. Whoever I said actually, I just wanted to be cool. I yeah, can actually that, do this that was for his voice. <laughs> <laughs> I, like the way I cringe they... every time. <laughs> I can't watch like a minute of that without like cringing and like. Yep. Guess might as well just go ahead and. <laughs> <laughs> Wrecked. Question: Why do you have that? <laughs> what? Why just do you have that? Not... Gun? Yeah. Press okay. F to pay respects. <laughs> <laughs> I just up another pencil. <laughs> How the fuck do I keep doing this? Stop touching pencils. Stop touching straight I, things. Stop I'm not it. letting you touch my PC or my consoles. Oh. And no, 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 it's not like I can do consoles. I just don't know how. That's the third pencil. Like There's three try. pencils. I feel like, that have you ever read like Grapes that. of Wrath? Like, yeah, you know, like I literally Lenny, just read or, that. Is it George or Lenny? Lenny. I don't know. No, Lenny. That's, that's Lenny. That's that's mice and men. That's not good. Uh, of my fucking yeah, it's, God there's Almighty. Another pencil I don't know, right. John Steinbeck. Of mice and men. No. I'm actually doing that as an English project right now. Uh -huh. Thanks, guys, for educating me again yeah, and reminding yeah, yeah. me that I'm doing yeah. that. Kind of he thing, hugs rabbits and, and he strangles them to death. That's Cuthra. That's what Cuthra does. I, He's like, oh, I, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> I'm not no. that type of person. It was, it was never a rabbit actually, farm. Yeah. <laughs> it was never a rabbit farm. <laughs> rabbit. Ah. Oh my god. All I can't right. believe we're talking about one of my English project. Wait, 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 what book are you reading? Of Mice and Men. <laughs> oh, I love Of Mice and Men. See, I liked Of Mice and Men so much better than Grapes of Wrath. Because Grapes of Wrath was cool. Well. Grapes, and, Grapes of Wrath was cool, but the thing is, is it, there was one chapter that just completely put me off, that just completely pissed me off. That, like, it talked about a a parking lot for a whole chapter, and I'm like, oh my Look, I'm going yeah. to die. I was like reading it, uh, like, cause I was reading it last minute when I was on vacation in Florida, and I'm like, God no, kill me, please kill me. Like, I want to just throw this book into the sea. Which I read it. It reminds. I mean, it was a good book, but it was just like such a weird ending. Like, here, just suck, yeah. suck on my boob. Like okay, suck right. on my boob. What? <laughs> there you go. That's here. Let me save you. Where can I get this book? Get your analogies here at For Real Podcast. It yeah. reminds me of games and movies doing that, where they have a story like, and they really like merge you. But oh. like at one point, they just throw everything out the bloody oh. window yeah, and yeah, make yeah. make it ridiculous. Yeah, I feel like the Grapes of Wrath could be a porno. Like instead of like the <laughs> grapes hard. that you're thinking of, like the grape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, uh, no. I mean the ending. The ending. Yeah. The ending yeah, was just so I, weird. I actually, yeah, like the guy's just is. sitting there, and it's like, yeah. I mean, he's like, he's starving to death. But I don't think I would pull out my boob for a random stranger. I mean, I get. Then again, I didn't grow up during the Great Depression, but 
I mean, you also don't have boobs. Yeah. Yeah. Suck on my teeth. Excuse me. For real? <laughs> Free the nipple. Talk about the ending suck? of sucking you boobs suck and with my teeth. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we kind of just, eh, there you go. No spoiler alert needed. You just got the ending of the book. Yeah, it's a great ending. I mean, oh God. who wouldn't want to just have a nasty old man suck on your boob? <laughs> that's just scary. No, the thing that scares me the most, honestly, about, like, pregnancy is, like, babies, like, bite. Like, that would hurt so much to get, like, bit, especially when they get, like, teeth. Like, bit on Honor the nipple. Honor Again, once again, oh, yes, yeah, he had me. <laughs> yeah, why, why is it like it back. just immediately changed the mood right there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. mm. I'm just like, like, you guys are talking about like a really well written story with a stupid ending, and I'm just like, well, Arnold Schwarzenegger had a baby once. Is this oh. a movie? Please tell me this isn't a movie. It is a movie. It is a movie. He wait, became wait, wait. like a part female who actually had a baby and he was pregnant. Ah, ah, what is this? What is this movie? <laughs> what is this? I don't know the name. I forgot, but it definitely is a movie. Not fucking around. <laughs> okay. Now you can picture no. Arnold Schwarzenegger having a baby. Like, ah, ah, no, ah, ah, no. ah, my baby must have more protein. No, what the fuck? <laughs> the baby came out. <laughs> Oh god! Get to the chopper! Oh no, you don't get to the chopper! <laughs> I will oh, fall, because it does my Give me milk! It does my ass now! <laughs> Push! Come on! What the fuck? It's, it's right here! I don't, I don't know how I should feel about Blue this. Blue 42! Green 80! Oh, Dyke! <laughs> Oh, where's this chat gone? Did that baby have I don't like know. a six pack when it was born? This has come out like. It came out with a little. He's like, look at my right six pack. Uh, reminds me of the, mo- the the parody of 300. Oh, the oh intro. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Great movie. Oh, it looks like you got some happy feet. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> See oh, my what? snowballs. <laughs> Meet the Spartans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that's the one. No oh, mayo. Yeah. This is this bullshit. Is bullshit. <laughs> I love it. This is great bullshit. movie. I could watch that any day. It was. That was a good movie. It's just one of those movies you can come back to any time. See, the thing is, is when I watched these movies as a young child, I was unfortunate the fact that I had to watch it with my parents. So my mom is sitting there staring at me like, what the fuck is this? And like, I would get through movie, like we would watch like 10 minutes of a movie and my mom would be like, turn it off. It's like, Damn it! Like Alien vs Predator, like I wanted to watch that. We started, we watched like the first ten minutes of it, and they said like "fuck" like three times, and she's like, "This is too inappropriate for you." I'm like, "Mom, I'm no. like 15." She's like, "No." I guess you're not I was lucky it. because I had a mother that didn't really care, and she actually said like, "Oh yeah, you're gonna love this movie." And I'm like, "Yeah, okay, I'll watch it." And then I oh. laughed my head off, and she just like, "Yeah, you, you love lucky." This movie. Yeah, I mean, I would. Yeah. Wa- I I like. I watched all these movies, and they're surprised that I have like seen them, and it's like, well, I mean, obviously, I'm gonna go watch them. I'm not gonna like not see them just because you don't want me to. Oh, yeah. Mm. I don't really like those kind of people where they say it's just in- too inappropriate, but yeah, it's like the most minimal like of action. Well, it's, it's, like, oh, come on. It's funny because my mom's like, that's too many cuss words. I'm like, um, have you ever listened to yourself talk when you get home from work? <laughs> she said, I mean, well, hell, she she doesn't even listen to herself talk when I try to, when she tries to get me to help her with her like phone. She has no clue how to work that thing. And then she's like, she starts, I just, I always remember I had, she was having trouble with updating her windows phone and she got like so pissed at me. She's like, why is it saying that there's this error? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm not an IT guy. Call an IT guy. All I can say is that you plug the phone in and update it. And she I've had that like scenario countless times with PCs, but like my mother or my sister or something would always come to me when like they'd having like when they're struggling with like computer issues. I'm like, for God's sake, you, it's like, you, why do you install random stuff like this? I mean, it's not real; it's fake. Yeah. And then you know, it's just, I have to te- tell them all about the importance of internet safety and crap. And it's just like, oh. yeah. No, I. Uh... <laughs> but on the topic of y- your mother swearing, as you said. I'm just to make this very clear. Um, shout out to all the furry gamers. 
Um, whoop, whoop. Uh, basically, you've never heard enough swear words. There's no if you if you mm. have not played House of the Dead Overkill, then you clearly have not lived through a game that has every swear word in every fucking <laughs> sentence. Seriously, that game, like. Ugh, like it, I think it even has the Guinness World Record of the most swear words in an entire fucking game. You have no idea. <laughs> it like uh. every sentence, even in the descriptions of some modes, it has swear words in them. Yes, I feel like this is something like should be on like Duke Nukem or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's not House of the Dead material. That's what really pissed me off. I was like, no, this is not an arcade game. This is a fucking like <laughs> fuck swear show. Mm. Mobile I... fucking fucking zombies. I think I remember my my most I think the most time I've like cussed while playing a video game was oh. it was like two o'clock in the morning and see like people on Xbox like there's a lot of like freaking like seven year olds on there you know yes. with like the super squeaky voice and like do you know any yes. glitches I I like to do glitches because I'm really bad at killing zombies because I I oh, played the you, shit you, out of playing cool, I, I played the shit out of zombies. And I was playing five, and there's this like on the like bottom of the uh, of the like or when you you go down the elevator and then there's like the control room and like with the computers and shit and you can like open up the gates so uh, so then it, like runs a complete circle. I always do that because then I run a rape train and I just destroy all the like I just run around in circles and kill all the zombies. It's like that's how I survive. So. I didn't have enough money to buy the gate because I just bought the other gate. So I said, okay, well, buy this barricade. So I go over and I like point at it, and this little kid's like, okay, okay, I'll, I'm I'm buying it right now. He goes and buys the one under the. Or like he, I guess he didn't see me sitting there pointing at the thing for like five minutes. He went and killed the crawler that I made because I always make it like when I plan on like buying oh, barricades God. and stuff, I make a crawler yeah. so then we can like no, do like it without essential. getting. Yeah. So I made a crawler, he killed the crawler, and then he bought the wrong barricade. So I just started freaking, I was, I mean, it's 2 o'clock in the morning, I kind of, like, ran out of my energy, because, like, before I was yeah. playing on multiplayer, and I just fucked around with people, so I was just, like, kind of out of energy, it's 2 o'clock, I wanted to actually, like, play a good game, and, oh, I was so pissed, it's like, what the hell, you stupid child! Like, wh oh, I, uh, I was, I, yeah. I, I cussed at him. It was funny. I yelled at him so much that apparently he cried. His mom, oh his mom got on the microphone. And she's like, "I don't appreciate you talking to my son like that." And I was like, "Well, then tell your fucking four-year-old son not to be on a game that's for people that are seventeen and older." Exactly. Exactly. And then so they, true. He rage quit. Uh, he rage quit after that. And I. I like, tell you what. Ah. I'm a very. I'm a very competitive gamer. So I swear a lot if I like die oh. or something in a game. See, it depends. But it depends. when like, I I'm... start raging, yeah. I get really creative with my swear words. Like I literally like make clusters of different types of swear words. Like the angry video game nerd in a way. Mm. And if there's one game that made me made like so many clusters of swear words and also put me in such depression and sucked my soul out, it was none other than Bloodborne. God I... damn that game. Wait, they kill werewolves in that, don't they? Yes. I'm wow, that's, you need to stop. That's sad. It's 20 racist. bucks says you have your seat Triggered. right next to you. Racist. You, but they're what, evil werewolves. Says what? They're like zombie werewolves. No. If you have your suit right next to you. Um, I, well, it is, it's somewhat, it's sort of, I need to get my, I'm, I'm going to get my head out for the music break, but I have my legalized Awu shirt on. Yeah. I'm promoting, I'm promoting the legalization of Awu because I don't deserve to get a $350 penalty every time. I howl. Which, Truly. Oh, you... I'm going to howl so much at MFF. Mm. I can certainly imagine you like if if you were like a fictional character in freaking Zootopia. I'm I imagine you'd bring like riots. I would, I would, <laughs> I would do howl riots. We would just, mm. yep, ban muzzles. How how the and, whole neighborhood awake? Yes, I just keep them all awake all the time. That's like yes. that still is my favorite part. 
I every time, I, <laughs> even when I watch it with like normal, oh, with like awesome. normal people, when I watch Utopia, I'm like, look at this part, look at this part. It's the wolves, it's the wolves. I love wolves. <laughs> every time, I just Anything. love, the, I just love the whole movie. Honestly, and, uh, I I hope I, I wish they had more of a a part or like a the wolves had more Plus, of a I do role. Believe- I do believe, like, during the first bit of the movie, like, with the whole, you know, I think Judy getting the the iPad out and, you know, like, putting some music on. In one of the music lists, she had a thing called Fur Fighters, and that triggered me immediately because there was this childhood Uh, game that probably was one reason that I had, like, a, you know, like, how I became a furry in the first place. And it is actually called Fur Fighters, and it's, like, where you play as furry animals just killing bears, and Uh there's no blood, it's like fluff. Mm. They stole. They stole your kids. Oh, well, I would still look at kids. And plus, there's an evil cat with a with a human cat. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so it's the opposite. Yeah. Like a bald man with one goggle, well, not like goggle glasses. You know, the evil glasses, and mm. it's just like the size of a cat, and also has like the anatomy of a cat. Ah, uh, great game. Yeah, I I don't know. Like whenever I play games. I always try to avoid killing wolves, like if they have wolves in them. That's why it makes me sad in Tomb Raider, because I played Tomb Raider, and then you have to kill the wolf because it like tries to kill you, and it's like, no, stop, stop attacking me. I don't want to hurt you, no. And then the same thing in like Skyrim, I hear them howl, and I'm like, yes, my brethren. And then they come and try to bite me. It's like, no, stop it, stop it, please. I think so you need to play the um, the Dawn Guard DLC. I yes, I got it. The, seriously, the day I got it. I played it so long, like, I was already aware, I'm already, like, I'm, I'm a Khajiit in Skyrim, <laughs> yeah, and then Khajiit, I'm a werewolf, yeah. too, so I, I literally, within, like, I, I, I started playing at, like, 11 o'clock at night, and I was playing till 4 o'clock in the morning, I skill, oh I ranked up my whole, le- my whole, like, skill tree for, like, being a werewolf <laughs> within that amount of time, I was still, like, for, like, days after that, like, playing that game, I eventually had to press, like, wait, or I had to, like, wait for an hour so then I would change back because I ate so many people that I was, like, continuously, I went to, I went to, like, towns, (coughs) just multiple towns, and just ate the shit, like, ate people. I I dread to imagine if you had the PC version and, like, had a mod for killing children. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. No, no, what I did with children is I just fusro them because they piss me off. Little shit. Yes. It's like, yeah, fuck you. If you have the PC version, you can finally like have pure bliss as you murder them alive. I want to get the new, the remastered version for Xbox One because with Xbox One, you can now have mods for them. Which I got it for free on PC, but it can, it doesn't stand a chance against my. Like, basically, the game is saying no. It's it's not strong enough. This PC is not strong enough. It's it's not good enough. I swear. So what I'm they sad, should, What but... they should do. Like, if you kill a child, I feel like you use that mod to kill a child, I think eventually, like, the final boss at the end of the game, instead of being the dragon, it should be, like, a child instead of being dragon. Halloween, it should be, like, the children, like, zombie children, like, a giant, like, more, like, melded, like, they all, like, morph like, together into one giant child. Dragon. Like, oh my carrying God. a rat, like, is, like, one giant child, like... Feed me a sweet roll. Like, uh, ah, I keep and, on hitting my mic. Oops. And that's when I bring in my freaking Tommy Wiseau mods in, where I have like a My Little Pony Tommy Wiseau, <laughs> Dragon Tommy Wiseau, Puppy Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> yeah, Tommy Wiseau, everything, because everyone loves the room. Oh, yeah. I did not hit her. I did not. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um,. Let's move on to news. Uh, we yeah, get so carried away. News. Yeah, we missed the pun. News. Yeah, it seemed like hey, you what's new? Fun there. news? What's the joke, Koda? Wait, no, 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 no. Joke comes after the news. No, it doesn't. It came before last time. Oh, uh, okay, fine. Oh, God, drama. All right. Okay. Since Reverb's not here, I have to say the joke since I said it last time. Go ahead. What did the pirate say when you turn 80? What? I matey. Ah, <laughs> ha! Oh, you have to show him the spelling because it might not I, make sense. I like I I captain. Ha! M a t e y. I matey. 
<laughs> it's so <laughs> funny. It just makes you want to like, uh, punch yourself repeatedly in the stomach. Chess was punched <laughs> by how? We need to get like me. we need to get Mark the Husky up on here like sometime. Which he's moving to Cincinnati. Yes, he's moving to Cincinnati. I need to get him as a guest on my show sometime. Like, he just wait. He's, he's moving to Cincinnati. Yeah, baby. <sighs> Why is he moving on? I have no clue where because that is. Because Cincinnati is amazing. <laughs> it's in Ohio. Because Ohio is oh, awesome. That's where every furry should move. Because y'all are too far away from Isn't me. Isn't Ohio like the hot part of the US? Uh, it's the Midwest. I mean, it's dry yeah. and it's boring. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's got, dry. It's got I mean, if, it. if you want to experience one season year round, you can come to California. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. California. It, 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 <laughs> It does not. It, it does not come below sixty. Oh. I do know that New York City has a massive like snowstorms. I always wanted to go there just to see the snowstorms. Hold on, really quick. I'm gonna plug in my internet. Oh, someone when they come to America. What a shocker! <laughs> Everyone's like, Most I'm gonna, move, trying I'm to gonna leave. visit <laughs> England. I'm gonna visit like China. Nope. There's that one person. I want to go to America. Um, yeah. I've never been to America, so you know I like their delicacy, yeah. and I like how the fact they have more arcades than us in this country. Oh my god! Uh, there's not, not many. Believe. I mean, there are some arcades; they're pretty cool. But I, I don't know. I really, I really liked. I I liked London a lot, especially because then I could sing "American Werewolf in London," and I could technically <laughs> correct. <laughs> okay. On, I'm okay. I'm gonna pull up the news music. Um, who, or, okay, who did the, um, who did the Bizarre Spa Amusement, um, Spa That was me. Okay. I'll read you. Okay, hold on. I gotta test really quick to see if the... Yeah, you have to show the video. The video has a very Oh, the video, video. okay. I need to make sure that I have the audio on for the... Desktop because I don't think I'm I, think I, have it I don't think we'll be able to see it, but you know, we can watch that in the video when it uh, gets uploaded. So, okay, okay. <laughs> let's see. All right, not, everybody, uh, be quiet really quick. I just need to see. <clears throat> um, nope, okay, not that. Off. Desktop audio, yep, dun, 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 dun. okay, cool. Now that's working, okay. So, there's the there's the oh, nope. That's the news music. I'm going to requeue that. Okay. Um, I will switch it over to Lishmuditur. What? The Lishmuditur. The Muditur. The Muditur. Oh, wait. Yeah. Hold on. I hope I didn't mess wait, up. Want me to begin now? Uh, not yet. I got to switch it over to the next monitor. Okay. Now it is on there, and let me cue up the music. Okay, now read. Okay, so uh, the um the heading is Bizarre Spa Amusement Park where rides are filled with hot spring water to launch in Japan. So basically, an unusual spa themed roller coaster where thrill seekers take a ride in mini jacuzzis could become a reality. Because tourists, um, chiefs in Beppu City, uh, in Japan, which is like the hot spring city with loads of like hot springs and spas and stuff like that, from apparently, um, because they have like loads of onsen hot springs, apparently. Um, basically, in this spa amusement park, uh, visitors just stroll around in like white towels, which you'll see in the video in a minute, and um. They can go on like roller coasters with uh, loads of jacuzzis and stuff like that in there, and so you can enjoy a nice ice cream while getting splashed with jacuzzi water or that with people's body warmth in from where they've been in. It's kind of gross. <laughs> um, uh, there's a merry go round. Uh, have the horses for the kids while you can have a hot tub that you can sit down in while the kids enjoy themselves. And then there's just a giant freaking swimming pool with a slide, like a water park, with just um, hot spring water with it. And apparently in the picture here, it says it took 12 tons of locally sourced hot spring water to make the advert that you're going to be seeing in a minute. And um, I believe in the video, the mayor of Beppu City said that if the, if the YouTube video gets 1 million views, He's pledged to make that project a reality, which would be incredible. Because, 
you know, I've always wanted to go in like freaking just my towel covering my, you know, my freaking crotch and enjoying a nice hot spring, you know, like while enjoying a good ride of roller coasters and spinning people, like all the water everywhere. Um, and it's, you know, exceeded the one million mark and he's made that pledge and it's likely going to be built. So that's awesome. And now Coda will show you the video. All right. Let's see. Pause the music. Um, video at the top. Oh, we're gonna have a look at it as. Oh no, wait, hold on, it's not. Okay, there it is. It's like something of like Mario. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This looks fun. Just it walking looks... around naked, like in a towel all day, like. I would do that. I mean, not only can you clench your body, but you can have fun at the same time. But do they sit in the towels like the end of I think so. That's kind of productive, isn't it? Yeah, like... I would kind of... I would change. Like, I would change. Maybe it's a I cultural thing. Um, I would be dance. naked in the pool. I'm sorry. Or like, at least swim. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the way you said that. I would be naked. I would, I would be naked. <laughs> Uh, those are like, um, I think those are like transport no, no, no. things yeah, yeah, yeah. in and out of the park. This guy knows how to have fun. Like, screw like the, you know, the political states of, you know, my country and the US is and just freaking have Japan's like policy, like political order because they ha have the best ideas. Oh well, you won't get Netflix, Instagram, Facebook, or any of that. True. But still, freaking Spa Amusement Park. It's <laughs> a video. Of the world's best hot spring city. Alright. Okay, so now Boy, Mike. now's a depressing article, which I think is is Cuthra's. Yay! <laughs> Why is I that? Well, last time mine was happy, but now mine has to be sad. <laughs> okay, all right, read on. Okay. All right, I'll grab some. Tissues. Is it is it the drug motive one? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. All right, drug motive. I had in Mexico baby shower shower killings. Two kids dead. Ooh. Mexico City. Uh, authorities in northern Mexico say a drug dispute may have been the motive in a shooting attack on a baby shower that killed two children and an adult. It, the security spokesman for Nuevo Leon State says a five-year-old boy, a seven-year-old girl, and a 40-year-old man died while three more adults were wounded. Spokesman Alda, Aldo Fassi, I butchered that Fasci? name. Fassi? I don't know. Says the attack occurred on... It occurred Saturday at a home in Santa Catarina, uh, I don't know, <laughs> a suburb of the northern city of Monterey. Authorities say a relative of the home's residents have, had recently been in prison on drug charges. The state offered a reward of just under 50000 for information leading to the arrest of two suspects identified in the attack. Hmm. Well, that's... Uh... Ah, that's nice and depressing. Poor baby. Yep. Yeah. Poor children. <laughs> ah. Poor kids. Yeah. Well, right. Less less souls. Well, okay. Well, the next one looks less depressing. Yay! Yeah. Is it thunders? Is <laughs> oh, oh, wait, okay. I think this is, yeah, this is the one I got. Ah, uh, I'm so pumped for this. Um, you know what, I'm going to, okay. Enlighten us. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move my mic down a little bit. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Zing. Thud. Suspect flings battering into Seattle police car. What? <laughs> okay. A 23... Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot to cue the music. Well, Cuthra, you didn't get any music because you're depressing. You're, yeah, 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 yeah. Your article was depressing, but I'm going to cue the music for mine. I remember it. All right. A 23-year-old man was being held on felony assault charges after he threatened a bouncer with a homemade spear and then slung a battering into the car of the cops who were chasing him, Seattle police said Wednesday. You read that right. A battering. Which, just saying, I have a battering. <laughs> I, I, it's fucking awesome. I picture it now, like the criminal's like, I'm Batman. Yes. I, I, Not I, Batman I, doesn't kill you, Batman. I would be happy. Like, if I went to jail for being Batman, I would totally be okay with that. <laughs> uh, okay, as in one of Batman's Batman. boomerangs. The suspect, who wasn't identified, but who clearly appeared to have a thing for superheroes, first swung his improvised spear, a knife attached to a metal pole, at a bouncer <laughs> Monday night at a bar on Capitol Hill, north of downtown, police said. Police responded and started chasing the man, who produced a sharp black Batman-style throwing star and flung it at the cop car. His aim was true. The battering flew into the SUV's lower front end. Police said that they were requesting further charges of weapons violations and obstruction of justice against the man. But they reassured residents is... Where does it continue? Okay, uh... Oh, is not Batman. There it is. So damn it, he's not Batman. He said he's rather much like um, the Joker or the, the failed Batman from the live action show or whatever. I'm sad. I want to be Batman. Oh, here's a picture. Here's a picture. A battering flown by a fling in bed. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Does he? Yeah, act, he he act really he he like he stuck it in like at the tip. Like it's got the tip of the wing in there. Props to he you, could man. Be Batman, if he wanted to be. Dude, fucking be Batman. I want you to be Batman. Too bad you're I, the wrong I want to be Batman. Does he look like he's in good shape, or is he like kind of like a little fat guy running around? <laughs> no, they don't show. They don't show him. Unfortunately, oh. I want to see him. Oh, there's a video. That's only 19 seconds though. By the way, when you mentioned that I should be Batman, nope, I'm already a hero fox. So bit too late for that now. Ooh, I'm Wolfman. I uh, will okay. bring justice for legalizing a woo. I'm just very trash. I am. <laughs> rude. Cancer. Cancer. A rude. Cancer. I have crippling yeah. depression. All right. So next up is uh, Somali student behind car. Is that you, Thunder? Do you want me to do the happy one or the sad one? Wait. <laughs> Wait. Well, you can only have one. Just do the do happy one. Reverbs do the... Yeah, then... we'll do like we'll leave that one for next week, and that'll be like our what? We'll have three happy, one sad. We're like That's... showing a like, stereotypical. Actually, wait, no, okay. Um, yeah, drama. Ever I forget which article you did that was. I um, let's just read I'm off the Ohio like... State one because it's really it's relevant because it's today that it happened, and I know people that were at Ohio State. Okay. So, um. Uh, yeah. cue the music. All right. Okay, so uh, basically what happened today is a uh, S Somali man basically drove a car into a crowd of people at Ohio State University. He hit he hit six or eight people before uh, jumping out of the car and uh, with two butcher knife or two or one butcher knife and started slashing at people on the street. Uh, the even more creepier aspect about this is that he did not make any facial emotions or did not say anything while he was doing that. One Ohio student said that he was lucky because the, there were so many of them that he couldn't focus on one target. Many students barricaded up their rooms uh, or barricaded up the classrooms in the uh, main complex while others stayed inside and hoped to stay safe. The uh, suspect was taken down by cops. Uh, the name of the cop you fails me right now. Yeah, but uh, he was... Uh, you don't, do you not have the article pulled up? No, I, um, I kind of hit the... <laughs> I hit the wrong button on the, uh, Google Docs and completely deleted the, uh, link. Oh, okay. No. Well, I have it pulled up here. Um, 
the student was Abdul Razak Ali Artan, which, um, let's see, he actually was featured in the student newspaper as one of the, because, or, um, talking about, um, his, like, worry of having a place to pray openly. Yeah. And, let's see, um, let's see, Alan Har Harajko? I don't know how to... H-O-R-U-G... Or, er, J-K-O. Um, shot and killed him. Which, let's see. My friend, you know, um, my friend that Tarek that was up at, up on, uh, campus, um, was texting me about it. And, you know, he was... They, uh, well, at first they, they said that they, there was a shooter on campus, not that it was somebody with a knife. Yeah, because that was what the original yeah. tweet that got put yeah. out was. And then, um, actually, like, my friend was saying that he thought that, um, he actually thought that there were two people, but it ended up that it was only, there was only one, but they killed him. After, which, I th after the most recent report that I've seen is there were ten people injured and only one person in critical condition. Which I think um, I'm not sure exactly, but I want to say on CNN I read that there were like six people that got run or that were hurt from getting run over. It doesn't say in it. Oh, so far there's no reports on any deaths. Pure yeah. road killing. Me. Yeah, it doesn't say. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. But glad my friend's okay and glad they got the guy. <clears throat> Um, okay, let's see. I'm going to switch back over to this. It is officially now the 29th. Good morning. Oh, <laughs> over here. Good morning. Oh, well, hold on. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So, that's done. That's done. Vines. Shit, I just... Okay, you know what? <laughs> this is gonna be awkward. You know what? Let's oh, take boy. a... Let's take a quick music break really quick, and then I'll pull up the... I'll pull up the vines. Okay. Alright. Um, everybody mute their mics. Uh... Alright. Well, I will see you guys in a little bit. I'll just uh, shoot out a text when... Um, when Wait, the music breaks. Happening? I'm gonna shoot out a text to all you guys when the music breaks done. You're listening to For Real. <laughs>
This is your host, Coda Grayman. This is Reverb Husky. This is Max Wicked. This is Cuthra. This is Thunder. And you're listening to For Real. Listening to For Real Podcast. This is for real.
right, everybody, we are starting to uh, get back from our break. Uh, okay, Whoop. cool. Everybody can hear me? Sweet. I made popcorn. And I got in fursuit for like two seconds because I was making popcorn. Did it really take that quick day on? Jeez, I thought it takes longer than that. I mean, I put on my head, but I didn't put on my whole thing. Oh, well, so what? You, not... you actually wearing it right now and eating popcorn at the same time? No, no, no. no I don't want to get popcorn uh. on my suit. I danced a little bit in suit and then I put it back. <laughs> it's like <laughs> just awkward dancing. Look at me. Are like you getting a club? <laughs> we have to wait for we have to wait for Colin to come back. For thunder. Come on, thunder. Let's go. I texted him already. I was like, hey, come back. Right. He's messaged me saying like he doesn't even know he'll be in here there for an hour or something. You know, I don't know. Sure. It's gonna be really sure. awkward for the vine thing because one of the people in this call right now has made the vine. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make this very clear to our viewers. Uh, my vine might be inappropriate, so cover your eyes because it's NS. It's NSFW. Okay, I'm back. Oh, hey. Um, so yeah, made. basically, um, we're gonna play these vines, and then, um, we're gonna start wrapping it up after that, cause I do need to start going, and, um, yeah, 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 I mean, I just, I gotta start getting going, uh, no, dang it, I gotta go back to the Google Drive, and I gotta die, oh, yeah. okay, Mm. Mm. Um. <laughs> oh God! Not kill me, Daddy. In this chat, please. <laughs> no. Hmm. All right. No. Okay. Uh. Wait. So which Vine. one are you dealing with? Um. Let me see which one is up first. Kathra. Oh. Yours is up first. Which it's gonna show on this. And I right, will post so... my vine in the Google Doc. And, and, and... Uh, right. ah, no, wrong thing. Oh, that's where the. Okay, that's where that thing went. Okay, so this is the my vine that Cuthra chose to show. Ah, that's loud. Alright. Come here, puppy. So that was oh, that wet. was Thunder's Vine, Zootopia Vine. Oh, that yeah. one's really cool because like people got it up to like the third in the hashtag, and that's like Yeah. It's cool. Alright. Uh, let's, let's get Roy into the news. Oh right, 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 right. No, let's see who's next. Who's mentioned. next? Oh, me. Thunder, do you have a vine that you wanted to show? I'm trying to click the link, but it's not. Well, I I need to like. Can you post Just it the on the? Can you post it on the Google Doc? Cause I, so I can pull it up. Yeah, no, that's what I'm trying to. Oh, okay. do, because I hit the like repost thing on the computer and ah, I hit the link ah, and I don't ah. think anything's happening. Okay. And now it's says Fox News. Okay, well, this one is. I I don't know if you guys can hear this, but this one's just beautiful. All right. This is I, this is one of my favorites because I love Shrek memes. Yes. Yes. What? 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 what are you doing in my swamp? What? 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 are you doing in my swamp? What? 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 I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I fucking. Love I can hear it. I love it. What? 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 are you doing in my swamp? What? 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 What, 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 what are you doing in my swamp? Oh, 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 oh. I don't know. Like, like, on his <sighs> creepy faces and glitching and stuff. I, that'll, that I, I, I just posted it in there. Okay. You could, yeah. so oh, you posted at the. Uh, he posted at the very bottom of like the notes. Oh, thing. wait. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, I see. I see where it is. Do 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 do. All right. So you. Okay. And that was.
Thunder's Vine, which that was from him, since uh, just showing, you know, kind of what he does. It's what our. <laughs> He's first... the editing wizard. Yes. Two out of four people chose Thunder. All right. And then Max is. Before you begin, which... I'm going to give this warning one more time. If you are, like, currently working and listening to this podcast, turn away from this vine now because it is NSFW. Um, that is all. Oh, yeah. And then, um, yeah, which also, I mean, if you want to include your own vines, like, each time you can, but it's not restricted to just, like, yeah, showing your own vines because I would, if I just showed my own vines, I think that people would just die of uh, yeah, know. it would get boring real quick. Yeah. I've got so many funny vines that I know of that I could share. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here's your vine. I'm so thirsty. I need some fizzy juice in my mouth. <laughs> what? I didn't mean cocks. Oh, I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Basically, let me explain the moral of the story in this vine. Cocks. It was a really, really hot day, and I'd just been walking around town, and I just returned home, and it was really hot, and I was really thirsty, and I needed a drink. Luckily, I had some glass bottles of Coca-Cola lying around, so I decided to dig in with that. But um, there's this little souvenir my sister got when she went to um, something islands, I forgot, but... She went somewhere and for a holiday, and um, uh, she brought back like loads of souvenirs. She got me like a slingshot, and that was my souvenir. But I think for my mum, she got like a bottle opener, which is basically a brown cock. <laughs> yes. And so I decided to use that in the vine. I was like, yeah, this works. So yeah, but oh. it's probably one of my funniest, the most <laughs> immaturest of vines. For the um, we're gonna start wrapping up. Um, okay. so for the um, story or I, I guess the furry re- related topic, um, basically, just um, you know, I, I'm gonna be at MFF. I don't know if any of you guys are. I'm I would. Um, Sadly. <clears throat> yeah, I am gonna be inter. I'm probably gonna. I'm gonna be doing a con video there. I'm gonna be interviewing some people for the uh, the podcast too, probably. Um, and if anybody wants to drop by and you know say hi and uh, pr- and be on the um, special edition of of uh, for real the MFF edition, then uh, drop by the drop by my uh, our panel and say hi because probably that stuff a lot of the uh i'll be probably interviewing people mostly like after that panel oh i because... wonder if i could join in. all of us could join in on that one. Oh, would be cool if i could do it Coda, like... just set up your computer put speakers and stuff so we can be on yeah. the call and just talk kind of actually funny. i have a project like i requested a projector up have there a legit live I'm, audience i'm bringing <laughs> Yeah, I'm bringing... Just don't do podcast during like the time of dawn, like for me. Yes, like I'm, I'm bringing my um, my computer with me because I'm playing a slideshow off of it, and then I'm also gonna be uploading the stuff that we'll take during the like meet onto YouTube. So from my camera. <laughs> my, um. Okay, so that's basically it. Just MFF. I've never gone to MFF. This will be my third furry convention that I've gone to. So, or that I'm going, yeah, that I've gone to. So, and your first in suit. Yeah, my first in suit. So that'll be fun. I you have all the, the thing, creepers stalking you. I think the thing that I'm worried about the most is just people touching my face. <clears throat> I don't want people <laughs> to mess up my suit. Like I've waited. Oh, yeah, you know what? Now that I finally have my suit, I can talk shit. Um. Yeah, I've waited like. Um, let's see, uh, a year past the due date, like uh, pretty much a year past the due date for my first suit. Like it was supposed to be here, uh, in December of last year. 
Hopefully they gave you a discount. No, they didn't. No. And they and up- sons of bitches. Yeah, she didn't give me a discount. So I would highly recommend not ordering from Furtastic because that was the worst advice I ever took from anyone. Yes, the cute the suit is really cute. I love the suit. But it's like she lied to me and that's what pissed me off the most. Like I know like I can tell that she's lying. I mean, obviously, if she told me that she was working on it like in November, which she didn't. She didn't even start it in November. She didn't even start it until I threatened to file a police report with my local police and then use that police like report number so then I could cuz she's in the UK so then I'd have to use that police report number and file a report with the um Scot- Scotland Yard to go after her because she okay. sold me the suit and didn't work on it told me she was and she wasn't and I'm actually really surprised that I even actually got the suit she told me she shipped it out at like in October, and it didn't get to me until like two weeks ago, which wasn't because she, because it took so long to. Sh- it only took a week to ship here. She just didn't ship it out until last minute. Like I emailed her every single day, like send me the suit, send me the suit, send me the suit. Do it. Why? Like why? Like yeah, you've had over a year to do this. Why? And I think it's because she, like, she did, like, took other commissions, and we're, we're, she was working on those, too. It's like, finish the fucking commission that you're working on first, and then move on to other ones. Like, I don't, I don't yeah. understand. I don't understand that. It's, I don't get it either. It's, really, it's, like, it's, it was, like, it's like having a roller coaster queue and having the last person go in first. I mean, the thing is, is if she told me the truth, um, you know, said, I haven't started working on it because... You know, I've been busy. I mean, yeah, that's one thing, but she would make up excuses like, oh, you know, I didn't start on it because this happened or, you know, this happened. And she, or no, she would say that she had like, and then she would say that she had these parts done. I was like, oh, okay. So then I wouldn't, you know, bother her because I didn't want to be bothersome. In the end, I had, like, it was really, I had to pester her to get her to actually do anything, which, on my part, like, that makes me not want to commission anybody ever, or a small, like, independent person, like, independent business, like, ever again, because that was ridiculously annoying, unless it's somebody that I personally know and that's local, because if that happened to me with somebody that was local, I would be at their doorstep, like, Asking him, like, where the fuck is my shit? Like, I paid for this stuff, and... Like, that's that was the scary thing, is, like, I was at her mercy. Because at any point, she could have just said, like, well, I'm not gonna give you... That's why I was afraid to, like, say anything about her business. Because I didn't want her to just be like, well, no, I'm not shipping you this stuff. Because I knew she didn't ship it. I suppose now that you got the suit, you can do all you want. Yep. So now I, yeah, now I have my suit. And I'm going to be making an artist beware, and I'm going to be rating her Facebook page with probably one or two stars because it is a cute suit. But she's just that, that was just a horrible experience. And she's, a, and she's a nice person. She's a nice person, but she has no idea how to run a business. Like that was really, really, really ridiculous. And I don't want to have to ever deal with that shit again. Like. I mean, I know I have friends, like, locally that make suits, and, I mean, next time, too, I'm probably either going get to get a suit from Made For You, or, um, I'm actually, you know, I want to get a, um, I want to do my research, but I want to get, like, my next suit that I want is a, I want to get a realistic, um, digi, werewolf. digi werewolf suit, yeah, because, like, this yeah. time around, I was like, okay, well, I'll get, I'll get a cute suit for my first suit and then the second suit i want to like be realistic because i i mean i i I, I don't know i think it's good to have like both on like each occasion because it just depends on i think if i had a choice of first suits, i'd go for partial personally oh yeah yeah i have a partial it's not a full first suit but i think it's funny because right after like I commissioned her. She upped her prices to one thousand one hundred dollars and i would not pay that for this like mm. my friend has to help me she has 
um, after MFS, she's sh sewing in like foam pads for me to the shoes because the shoes are like slippers. They're not actually like shoes with like fur built on top of it. It's like it's slippers, they, and they like you. were slipping off of my feet, and I didn't want to like trip, so I had to had oh. have foam added to that, and then she left like threads. Like she didn't cut the like just long threads that I had to like cut, you know, from like the knots. She just didn't cut them. Because she was probably, like, not. rushing last, like, minute to get everything done because I was pestering her. It's like, well, then you wouldn't have to rush last minute. You had a whole fucking year to do it. You're supposed, you, yeah. you're supposed to have it done fucking last December. Don't pile yourself with work. Focus on what you have in hand before you go for new stuff first. Exactly. Okay. So, um, let's do a quick... Uh, what What question did... So, uh, I had the question that was posed to me by uh, someone named Zori, Zori Wolf on Twitter. She is actually my suit maker that will be coming up soon. But um, they basically asked, uh, how important do you think it is to have a fursuit if you're a furry? Um, in my experience, um, personally, like with making friends and stuff, I mean, like, actual, like, uh, like, friends, physical friends, it doesn't matter, but I feel like online, like, especially since I got my suit, there's a lot more people that are, like, paying attention, like, oh my gosh, you're so cute, like, without my suit, people just don't, really, like, without a suit, people don't really uh -huh. care that much, I don't think, I don't know, I mean, it just depends on what you do and what you contribute to the, like, community. I think, because, but, I don't know, in my personal opinion, there's, like, for physical friends, it doesn't matter to have a suit, but if you're looking to, I don't know, if you want, I don't know how to put, how to put it in words, basically, it's, yeah, I mean, you don't have to have a fursuit, obviously, but if you, if you like to, you know, no, or, uh, I don't know, on online stuff, like interactions with people. If you want to have a lot of I, online interaction, then I think that, yeah, having I'd, a fursuit definitely puts, puts some points for, for you. I'd say, like, at, also, like, at um at a convention, like, you don't need a fursuit to enjoy a convention. You can still yeah. go there and enjoy every part yeah. of it. Like, I when you join the fandom, it's not a requirement. You don't yeah, need yeah. to have one. If you really get into it and you want to spend the money on it, go ahead. It will definitely attract some people because that's that people like suits in the fandom. But say you're a good artist, that's also a great kind. Of, or maybe you couldn't, you can't draw, or you don't want to first it. You can do something like I did. I edited in the fandom. You can always find your niche somewhere in here. You don't necessarily need yeah. a fursuit to be. Because I've got I write. So yeah, I can relate. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, you definitely don't need a fursuit. I mean, Anthrocon, I didn't have a suit there, and I had a blast. But I'm definitely looking forward to suiting at MFM. All right, Fun. does that about wrap up our show here? Yeah, I think it does. Um, yeah. I'm Coda, been your host for tonight, and you guys can say your yep. no. I'm Coda. Um, Next week went 100. All right, yeah. we'll promise that we will coordinate this next time. <laughs> yes. Um, but I'm Thunder, and yes, I was the guy at 18 minutes that got nailed in the background and screamed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you, 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 uh, Coda and Max, you guys didn't realize, but it was pretty funny. I didn't, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> realize what? I'll have to go back and listen. Just go, yeah, just go back and listen after this is posted at like eight, 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 eight. Oh, boy, you're going to lose your head. <laughs> yes. All right, well, I'll see you guys. Uh, it was a good show. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.